Welcome to Biotecon Diagnostics video presentation of the new Foodproof Robo Prep Plus series. This new technology provides a fully automated solution for the rapid detection of pathogens in food samples by real-time PCR. The entire process, from DNA isolation to the final setup of the PCR plate, is automated, thus minimizing errors and making high-throughput pathogen testing efficient and easy. In this video, we will demonstrate the basic steps of DNA isolation and PCR setup for salmonella detection as performed on the Foodproof RoboPrep Plus 158 workstation. The automation protocol starts after the food samples have been enriched, usually for 18 to 20 hours. No subcultivation is necessary. The user must first initialize the corresponding Lyric software. After logging in, the Salmonella protocol is chosen from the method list. After pressing the play button, a series of questions appear. Here you can enter the number of samples, 16 in this case, and decide whether you would like to start the run using new tip boxes. After initializing the instrument, the automation steps can begin. In the first step, the barcodes of the sample tubes are read, enabling the software to automatically identify each sample throughout the entire process. After the gripper transfers the process plate to the work position, 200 microliters of enrichment are transferred from the sample tubes into the process plate. Please note that all pipetting steps shown in this video are carried out using only four pipettes at once. However, Biotecon Diagnostics has also optimized the protocol to utilize all eight pipetting channels for even greater efficiency. Now the lysis buffer, which is contained in the Foodproof Magnetic Preparation Kit 1, is added to the wells containing the samples. Reagents that remain in the pipette tips are discarded in the liquid waste, and used tips are disposed of in the solid tip waste, which leads directly into a disposable waste bag. The process plate is now transferred to the heating and shaking unit. Here, cells are lysed during a 5-minute incubation step. In the next step, binding buffer is added to the wells. The black color of this buffer is caused by the magnetic beads which give the foodproof magnetic preparation kit 1 its name. They are also responsible for the high quality of the DNA purified. As shown here, the solution containing sample and buffer is mixed by pipetting up and down. An additional mixing step on the shaking unit follows, during which the isolated DNA binds to the magnetic beads. Afterwards, the process plate is transferred to the magnet position. We shot this 3-minute separation step in fast motion to show how the magnets cause the beads to form a pellet at the bottom of the wells. This bead pellet now contains the extracted DNA, whereas proteins, cell fragments, and other impurities remain in the liquid phase. This liquid phase, or supernatant, is now discarded. In order to remove residual impurities that may have remained in the pellets and further purify the DNA, the process plate is transferred back to the work position, where wash buffer 1 is added. After resuspension of the pellet, a second magnetic separation step follows. A total of three consecutive washing and separation steps are carried out with wash buffers 1, 2, and 3. Afterwards, elution buffer is added in order to release the DNA from the magnetic beads. This liquid phase now contains the purified DNA. 
In the final step, a new plate is transferred to the work position. The purified DNA is now transferred to this new plate. Five microliters of this DNA will be used for the subsequent PCR setup. The entire process of DNA extraction and purification in order to avoid PCR inhibition is complete in just 2 hours and 20 minutes for 96 samples at one time. The PCR setup protocol starts after the purified DNA from the DNA extraction has been eluded and transferred to the final plate. All necessary reagents for PCR are included in the Food Proof Salmonella Detection Kit and have been placed in the PCR setup block. These include the master mix, enzyme solution, internal control, the positive control, as well as purified water for the no template or negative PCR control. First, the internal control is pipetted into the 5 milliliter working tube. This internal control serves as an amplification control to avoid false negative PCR results. This is followed by addition of the enzyme solution containing the DNA polymerase and uracil N glycosylase. Finally, the master mix is mixed by pipetting up and down, and then added to the working tube, where all components are thoroughly mixed again. Now the mix is transferred to the PCR plate, where 20 microliters are pipetted into each well. Used tips are discarded, and 5 microliters of both the positive control and the negative control are added separately to the plate. In the last step, 5 microliters of the purified sample DNA from the DNA extraction are added to the wells. Now the PCR setup is finished. The PCR plate need only be sealed manually and transferred to a real-time PCR instrument where the rapid amplification and detection takes place. This automated process of setting up the PCR plate takes just 20 minutes for 96 samples. In total, the entire automation process of DNA extraction and PCR setup using the FoodProof RoboPrep Plus 158 workstation takes just 2 hours and 40 minutes for 96 samples, leaving additional time for other necessary laboratory activities which further increase a lab's throughput ability. For more information on the FoodProof RoboPrep Plus series and other products, contact Biotecon Diagnostics. We look forward to answering your questions and working with you to fulfill your pathogen detection needs.